Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Alan Astro Photography back with another wonderful tool within PixInsight to let you easily add hydrogen alpha data to your RGB data. Now, I used to have another video in the past explaining how to do this method, but it involved a lot more of uh, pixel math and creating mask. But now there's a brand new method thanks to a wonderful interview vigil whose name is Jurgen that we're going to be talking about made it extremely easy and very quickly of how to add your hydrogen alpha data to your RGB now the way to get this is through a repository found in the PixInsight forms Jurgen Terp is the one who created this which is the infamous PixInsight toolbox which also offers a whole bunch of other wonderful easy to use tools as well like auto linear fit create HDR image combine images improve brilliance create Hubble palette from OSC continuum subtraction and the one we're going to be using today is combine HA with RGB he has left a repository that all you get to do is click it and it'd be able to give you instructions on how to add it to your PixInsight software. Which all you do is go ahead and copy this link directly here. And as we head back into PixInsight, you would just go over to Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories. And then you would just be able to add that link directly to it. Search for Updates. And it's going to come up and download it and install this plugin for you. You will have to reinstall PixInsight when you do so. Now today we are going to be using two images that I've taken of M81 and M82. One in broadband using the Optalon L Quad filter on the right. And the one on the left is me using the L Extreme filter to really pick up those iconic hydrogen alpha regions inside of the cigar galaxy and the Bode's galaxy. You can see through there. Now the first things we need to do, these have to be in a linear state at first. We're going to be doing a little bit of some background extraction, but for this, I'm just going to be using Graxpert if you have it. If not, dynamic background extraction is just as good. This is just a one click method that's also included inside of this wonderful script as long as you have the latest updated version of Graxpert. So we're going to go ahead and remove these gradients from our images. Now that we have taken out the gradients on both images, the next very important step we're going to be using is to make sure that these two images are identical and we're going to be using star alignment. So you can go ahead and find that in processes, all processes, and then you'll be able to find star alignment. Use the reference image of your RGB data. Just drag and drop that over towards your reference and then drag that triangle over your narrowband data. Now it's going to create a new image so we can go ahead and just minimize this one and move it over. We're going to also rename this one just HA in general. So now we should have two images that are identical in placement, especially if you were to just drag and drop them over. They should all match up like so. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is blur exterminator to make sure our stars are nice and round and pick up a little bit more detail. You're going to be using blur exterminator on both images. Now normally after you're doing blur exterminator is when the time that you would do color calibration but that is a step that we're going to be taking a little bit later. Now we're going to be able to combine both of these channels together. Now you have to make sure on your narrowband image you extract the channels, split them into RGB. You don't need the blue or the green channel. You're only just going to be using that red channel 
where your hydrogen alpha is located. And now we're going to be using that wonderful tool that we can find under scripts, toolbox, and combine HA with RGB. Now it pops up with a window here with a live preview. You select your RGB image from the list here. You'll see the preview pop up in just a moment. There you go. And then you select your hydrogen alpha view, which is our HA underscore R. We zoom in a little bit on the original image you can see that the hydrogen alpha regions are a little bit more illuminated but you can also adjust the parameters you have the amount of how much you want to bring in I'm gonna bring in just a little bit more because I really like those regions to pop out but you gotta make sure you don't put too much on it it will bleed out into the background and you also have this beta which is their H beta regions which you can adjust that too for your nice little blues that try to pop up as well I'm only gonna put just a smidge on that and then when you're satisfied with both of those looks go ahead and hit that check mark and it will combine both of them together into one image now that we combine both of our images together, add the hydrogen alpha to the RGB, now it's time to do the color correction because you see there is a little bit of some red in the background that this is still a unstretched image. So make sure you have your image plate solved. If you haven't, you can go under image analysis and then image solver. And then from there you can search for what we're looking for right now, which is M81 that we're working on. And make sure it's plate solved. All right, now that image is plate solved, we're gonna go ahead and use SPCC, Spectrophonometric Color Calibration. And for this, I use the L quad enhance filter. So I'm going to be go ahead and selecting those in the red, green, and blues. Drag and drop over top of your image. Now that you color calibrated, now you can go ahead and stretch your image. Which I have some scripts of my own. I'm going to be adding in. There we go. We have stretched our image and look at those hydrogen alpha regions really popping out especially with Messier 81. Right around the spiral arms through there. Now beyond this point, this is where you would start doing a lot more of your enhancements to your colors, bringing up the saturation and all of that to your desired, but this is just how simple it is now to combine hydrogen alpha data from narrowband filters right to your RGB with just one single click of a button and be able to transfer it without having to do pixel math or mask it does it all for you so thank you for watching everybody if you want any more tutorials leave them down in the comments below like the video it does help me out quite a bit and i will see you in the next one in clear skies